you can click on the launch button. Let's check once more. Instant type, security group. Okay. Ignore those warnings. Click launch. So now it says select an existing key pair or create a new pair. This is probably the most important step. If you are creating this for the first time, you probably don't have a key pair. For this, select create a new key pair, name it load balancer. Actually, you can name it whatever you want, but for me, I just wanted to name it load balancer. This is the key pair that Amazon is giving you so that you can use this key pair as a token of authentication while you log in to your servers like server A, server B and the load balancer. You would require this key pair to authenticate. So you need to download this and keep it very safely with you. Okay, you named it load balancer, you download the key pair, it's inside my downloads this and let's launch instance and there you go it is launching something let's wait for it to start hmm let's view the launch logs successful creating security groups successful creating inbound rules and initiating launches okay let's go back to our EC2 dashboard and see what the current status of all these instances that we created are okay so you see here three instances are running now previously I had zero instances running we clicked on that waiting for it to come okay so you see three instances of t2 microtype are running right now you can click on each one of them click and it shows you a lot of details in these tabs so it gives you a public DNS so IP address is completely valid and you can use it to see what's running on the machine but right now there is no web server running on A or B you need to install nginx on a b and load balancers to see some response when you hit this ip address or this public dns and you'll find other information about your instance in and all the other related um, information regarding your storage type um, virtualization ram monitoring logs you'll find everything here status Blah, blah 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 so before we kind of proceed let's name these instances the first one let's name it um, server a second one let's name it server b again you can go ahead and name anything you want and the third one will be our load balancer load balancer got it so all your instances are right now running our next task is to download putty and log into server a log into server b log into load balancer and install nginx on it okay see you in the next video i hope you've enjoyed it this far if you like the quality of the video and the contents being taught kindly subscribe to the channel Thank you.